We are now going to do exercise three. For this exercise, we are going to use a website called Clustal Omega. So go ahead and type that into your search and we will be using this one right here. What we're going to do is take our five species that we just compared in the previous exercise and we are going to use Clustal Omega to compare them visually. So in our first step, we are going to input our sequences. So let's go ahead and pull up our appendix and we'll take the five species that we're comparing. Go ahead and highlight them and copy them. You can do that with control C. Go back to your website, click in the box and paste them. You can do that with control V. So you have your five species in there and make sure you are on the protein setting because remember we're comparing amino acids for proteins. In step two, we are going to set our parameters and let's go ahead and choose clustal with numbers that will actually number our amino acids, which will make for an easier comparison. So now we're ready for step three to submit our job. All right, so we are just waiting and here's our results. So what we have here are five species, starting with Calithrix abyssi all the way down to our pantroglotides, which are our chimps. And what we have is across the top here is the amino acids. And this number here shows that there are 58 amino acids. And then notice it continues on to down here, the same species. This is just a continuation, continuing the counting, going all the way up to 106 amino acids. Notice here that we have some asterisks. What the asterisks represent are amino acids that are the identical in this particular position. So for example, here, they are all G at this asterisk. Notice at this position, all the amino acids are C and so on. Now to make for an easier comparison, let's push on the show color button. And notice now the amino acids are color coded. So what the colors represent are the amino acids that are similar. For example, if they are in the same color, they are either identical or very similar. For instance, you'll notice a lot of the blues are the E's and so on. So with this in mind, with this data, you can go ahead and look at the species and compare them visually and go ahead and address the questions in exercise three.